time. No. Yeah. So you, 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 on that then, you put the holes in before you did the bending? Well, I do the, the two outside bending because I need reference points. Yeah. Then that hole and um, yeah. then the lightning holes. Yeah. And then when I've got them in without any splitting this time, I'll uh, put the ends yeah. on, which I'm doing now. So this plate is for the um, towing bracket? Uh, it's something to do with the tow, the glider tow assembly, yeah. Yeah. But um, it was never used, but yeah. it was fitted. But would it also be put back as a strengthener or, or just... Well, this was originally a strengthener, and yeah. then it was modded to have this hole in, where the piece next to it was, uh, was added on. So, but yeah. this, this one will have to go back in. But we yeah. are putting all the, everything back as it was anyway. Yeah. But yeah. But, uh, yeah. 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 But yeah. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's just in the back on the floor there. Watch those pipes. Yeah, it goes just here, look. It goes just there. Yeah. A slight angle on there. It sits there. Yeah, to keep this um, upright. Yeah. And, and uh, there's another one that goes here. So, is it riveted on? Or, or yeah. yeah, it is riveted. Yeah. And it's riveted to this section here. That I've left that a bit longer so that I can, you know, cut it back till it's comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, Good morning, Sven. And then that'll be that finished, hopefully. And these will stay in next year yeah, when hopefully. you take the skins off. Yeah, this will be riveted to the, the, the rear frame. And what we're planning tape, yeah. on doing is taking the skins off, but this will stay on. Yeah. You know, that's why they're trying to do it properly now. Yeah. So that, because uh, these rivets here, to get into these rivets, you've got to take all the gun assembly to pieces again. We don't want to have to do that. No. So we're starting here and then working forward. As we've moved off this, it will get easier. We yeah. could have come the other way, but yeah. um, this is what they wanted to do. Yeah. As we say, we say how flimsy it is up there, but when you come down here, it's yeah, a little bit firmer, isn't it? Yeah, well, you've got more longerons here, you see. Three there, look, together, so that... It, yeah. And one there, where these are spread apart. Yeah. But yeah. And then once you've got the frame on and the bulkhead, it really comes a strong... Yeah, very strong. Of. Yeah, much stronger. Have you got the other one started yet? Yeah, the, the one here is finished. Oh, is it? Yeah. I've done that one. That was very easy, that one, because... This was originally in the aircraft and modded here to take the assembly, yeah. the little uh, click assembly thing, a lever assembly. And this one was an add to, so that's just a thin piece of metal with one bend and riveted to this. Yeah. So, you know, that was a thinner material, but this was originally here. Yeah. So. Yeah, good. Some of them go quite a long way down, but there is a special joggly join. So they're not very long, it's just that we don't know what's underneath here. There could be some really bad corrosion underneath there. Yeah. And this stuff tends to exfoliate because it's been rolled into shape. It's uh, the way it's formed, this little lip, it will split apart, you know, like loaves of a bread type thing. It'll yeah. spread out. So we'll take that, we'll take the skin off and um, have a look at it. it it may be all right if it's okay they'll just clean it up retreat yeah. it and use it again yeah. but we have no choice but to check it yeah a lot of it is just has to be seen to be checked they have to know that we've been in there we have photographs and written documentation to state that that particular part has been checked and is still up to standard yeah um, but if it has to be changed it has to be changed yeah. but quite difficult to get this stuff made. I think I think Bob has to go to America for it. What? For these lines yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's uh it's interesting, it's like archaeology in a way, you know. Yeah. So it didn't split when you were um, No no put the first. lightning old thing. Yeah. Yeah. I still got a you you, you you can put a little radius on there yeah. with some Scotch Bright to smooth it off. Yeah. And then when you when you put the tool in to give it the lightning the, this sort of joggly bit. Yeah. You, um, Did you heat it up at all? No, no, no. just the press. You can't do that with this T3. You you change the spec of the material. T3 it, is it? Yeah, it becomes too soft. It's yeah. designed to be bent, 
but yeah. when I say bend, it means one bend. It doesn't mean eat, eat, eat. You yeah, know? That so would it, work. Yeah, it has a bend, and after yeah. that, that's it. You can't do anything else to it. No. But uh, yeah, oh. and that makes that a lot stronger. Than, I don't know, twenty times stronger it than is, it would have it? been. Yeah. Yeah. When you see all that flat piece of material. Oh yeah, it's like a piece of paper. Yeah. But yeah. then no, that's very strong. And the other end here has a ninety degree riveted on. So it, it but there are yeah. some like the next one I've got to make that has that has both ends bent. Oh, it doesn't have an angle piece to No. But you can see the corrosion on it's really extensive. There's yeah. no point in even trying to clean that up. No. It looks like it's had no paint on us. Or well, it's been paint stripped. Oh, it's been paint stripped. Yeah. But uh, this this uh, didn't have any paint where the, it's all bubble. But yeah. the paint stripper makes this go black. Yeah. You know, we polished Brings it. it out more. Yeah. You can polish it to get the number off it, and then we've got the original drawing. You see, the yeah. proper drawing for it, the prop, the actual item. We've got the right material, and then off we go. We yeah. fabricate a new one. John's progressing slowly with the aileron. I made a comment on the last video about the turret that it was going to be restored, which it is. I also mentioned that the hydraulics would be working and it'd be spinning round. That's not going to happen. It is. It's looking apart, aren't it? Yeah. So how far we got on then? You've got all the skin pins in, holding everything together. Every, every, everything's assembled yeah. <coughs> without without any riveting, just with skin pin clamps in it. Yeah. And I've got one piece of the shroud in, which makes sure everything lines up and it's all secure. So you can't move it. And then I'm sticking in these uh, 316s rivets there all the way along then I'll stick a 1 8 rivet in that one because that 1 8 rivet that goes in there also goes through the shroud as well so I can't put that on yet no but I can get those those done I'll do, do the 316s first and do this 1 8 because I've, I've got to adjust the uh, rivet squeezer yeah and then when they're done I can put the pot rivets in the bottom all the way along and that, then all and then, the ribs then will be secure Onto yeah. the leading edge, yeah, onto the yeah. um, spar. Yeah. yeah, permanent fit, unless you want to drill the rivets out. Again. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's final assembly. Oh, that's good. Mm.